With investor dollars tipped to be heading to Queensland, we caught up with property expert Leonard Oberman and asked why. The Queensland market doesn't really have a beginning or an end. The Queensland market's dynamic because they have a lot of land available, a lot of the local councils are becoming more uh, appreciating the idea of, of getting more development happening in their council areas. We've got probably the best yields that you'll get throughout the whole of the country. So in Queensland we can be offering over 5% gross yields in virtually every investment property, which is something that can't be said in any other state. We've got a lot more infrastructural changes happening here. The, the, the Queensland Government is spending money in infrastructure, improving roads, rail. There are private schools which are investing in buying land and developing uh, new schools or throughout Queensland and they're only going to do that because the demand is there for it. And you may hear that uh, there is a drop in uh, movement to Queensland. Uh, when you compare it to the rest of the states, they may well be true. But at the end of the day, we are still selling virtually every piece of stock that becomes available in Queensland, in the interstate market and the international market as well. So to buy, to get property where you're going to get in excess of 5% gross yields, uh, for you know, under um, what would be considered industry averages, you can't find anywhere else in the country and you certainly can't find it overseas. So that's why we have a, a burgeoning market here in Queensland. Uh, in terms of, uh, of what's being offered, we've got, at the moment of course we've got terrific interest rates. So people want to take advantage of the of interest rates which are available. So you can buy in Queensland three properties for the same price that you might pay for in Sydney and you'll get yields of 5% plus as opposed to 3%, which is what you're likely to get in most of the other marketplaces. So Queensland, it is the place to be investing now and for the future, and it's not the next two years, it's not the beginning of a property cycle, it's not the end of the cycle, it's basically in perpetuity. There's no reason why it shouldn't stop.